Shalom Aleichem. We're now in the Parsha's Bishalach, and the Pasha Bishalach, and the Shabbat Bishalach is known as the Shabbat Shira. What is Shabbat Shira? Shabbat Shira is a, it's a singer, it's a singer uh, uh, Shabbat. Why is called this? Because when the Jew crossed the sea, we was singing songs for Hashem. So uh, they say the Torah says that Miriam takes a, an instrument and the Jews was proclaiming and saying, Hashem, thank you very much for setting us free from the Egyptian. Uh, as the Parsha says, as Hashem says for the, the Jews, because the Jews was afraid about the, the Egyptian, ar Egyptian army, because the Egyptian army was coming to, to kill us. And then Hashem says to the Jews, you don't worry, you will never see them again. What that means? That means that the, the Jews will be totally free. Hashem affirmed that we are free now, totally free, because we will never see them again. Because some Jews were totally afraid, like, we have to come here to die in the desert? Why are you doing this? Well, we, was, we have everything on, on Egypt. Because they, they accepted the bondage. The bondage for the Jews was normally because we, oh, we was Jew, we was, uh, slaves on, the Jew, on, on, on Egypt for a, a, um, too much years. So the Jew was like, okay, I have to work and I get this and that's fine. That's fine for me. That's what I want to bring today. The message is, what, we cannot be a slave of life. What is a slave of life? You just work and the, get the money, pay the bills and whatever. That's it. We will just do that. That's not what Hashem wants from us. Hashem wants us to sing a song for Him. We, Hashem wants from us to say, Thank you, Hashem. Thank you for everything that you do to me. I have everything. That's what Hashem wants from us. To spread the Torah. To, to learn more Torah. That's what Hashem wants from us. Because we cannot live as a slave of time. We cannot live as a slave of time. One other thing that we can say, see in the Persians. The Jews want food and Hashem sent the manna. Hashem, Jews want the water and Hashem gives the water. So that's, this is life. This is life. We have to learn Torah. We have to be with our friends. Be, be kind. In this way, every, the Parnasa, the, the money will come. Not be a slave of time. Don't be a slave of time. You're losing your time being a slave of time. Hashem wants you to practice Torah. Hashem wants you to spread the Torah. Hashem wants to be with their friends. Hashem wants you to be with their family. That is what Hashem wants from you. Don't be a slave of the time. So the message of this Torah, the Parsha is, don't be a slave of time. Hashem with you. Of course, we need to work. But don't be a slave of work. Work, recognize Hashem is upon, them, upon the time, and then the Parnasa will always come. And then, we will be happy in every day. So Shabbat Shalom. And like Shabbat Shira says, we have to sing a, a song for Hashem and thank Hashem every day. And thank Hashem, especially in this, in this, in this uh, Shabbat for, for the greatness of, of, of life. Shabbat Shalom.